So, we've been shooting with this thing quite a bit and it is fun. It is fun and fast. And very fast, yes. And um, But, since I'm here in the UK and we're here on Mike Sanson's uh, property, we can do we can do things that we normally cannot do on this channel. <laughs> and that has to do with explosions. <laughs> Mike, you prepared some special arrows for us. I have indeed. So um, we're going to start with um, a percussion cap in the end of the, uh, the tip, rather than your um, deadly tips that you say are for warfare. Um, so this will create an explosion, which will then ignite what I've put inside. So okay. we're going we're gonna to start with something a bit more pokey, like um, flash powder. So flash powder, tell me what flash powder is. So flash powder is just a combination of aluminium and an oxidizer. That's all it is. And that produces an explosive. So it's an oxidizing reaction that the oxygen is formed when heat is created. Yep. Okay. This releases oxygen and then the aluminium powder burns. But it and burns really fast. And really bright. Really bright. I understand bright it's well, the yeah. same stuff that is like in a flashbang grenade. Right? Exactly. That's why it's called flash powder because it used to be used in flash photography. Okay. So, so the yeah. old sort of cowboy films where you get that boom. That's okay, it. yeah, okay. But in, in a, a tray like that, it makes mm -hmm. a flash. If you oh, contain right, it right. in this, yep. it'll make a any flash. confinement, even 20 grams of flash powder will be self confining, so it'll explode. All right, yeah. okay. Well, so, confined is... in a little tube like this, it's going to have no problem. <laughs> so, in, and of course, this is, I think, this is more like a 22 blank. It's not really a. a that, so. That's it, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's, it's a rim fire, so we've got the rim of the, of the arrow that's that actually going to ignite it off. Then. Yeah, yeah. And then the cabbage is quite hard. I yep. think it's really a hard cabbage, but do you think that will be right, enough easy. to ignite it? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure it will be. Um, oh, if, really? it, if it's not, then it will hit the metal plate behind and then go off. And that would, be, of course, be best because then the explosion would happen inside of the Exactly, cabbage. yeah. But, folks, it, that is hard to hit. You know, Mike does not allow me to get really close to the target. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and, and so it, it is possible that I'm not going to hit it. We only have three arrows that yeah, explode. It's so going to look great no matter what happens. We, we, we hope that this is going to hit it, but I'm not, I can't promise it. So, all right, but then you've got two more arrows. So then I've got two more. So one's got a delay. So it's a, it's a flash reaction again, but it's mm -hmm. got a delay. So hopefully we'll see a little red flash and then a bang going off. So this means that when it hits the cabbage, we hope that it has enough time to enter to penetrate and then go on. Exactly, yeah. It'll be a it. microsecond, but it'll be enough, hopefully, to get inside the cabbage that, uh -huh. uh, that it'll go bang. And then the last one, just for the hell of it, we fill with black powder all the way. <laughs> all the way. All the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 20 so grams of black powder this, in there. <laughs> this, funnily enough, is the most dangerous one because black powder, it burns slowly. Yeah. So unlike flash powder, where it's going to explode and it's going to just blow out of the, of the arrow, it's going to do it instantly. Mm -hmm. Black powder might react like a rocket. And so shoot back at me. Shoot back at you. So if you've got or good shoot reactions. shoot that aluminum knock back at me as well, right? So. Yeah, don't tell me that now. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to wish me yeah. luck. But in any case, but you are also, to make this very clear, yeah. you have all the permissions to do this. I've got all licenses to buy any explosives. This is a registered site, so we can do anything here. But don't do it at home, because that's why we are doing it for you. So you don't have to stand here and fire arrows in such a dangerous manner. So please don't do it at home, okay? And please, 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 YouTube Raiders, this is hopefully safe. Don't kill this video. <laughs> <laughs> so we're starting with the cabbage and yep. we're starting with the flash powder. With the flash powder one, yeah. All right. Which I is, which is this one, actually. Sorry, that's the delay one. So this mm -hmm. is the flash powder one and it has okay. 1.2 grams of flash powder. So just put that into context. The loudest thing you hear at a firework display will have about 20 grams of flash Ooh. powder. Yeah. <laughs> so... The army use 100 grams, so 100 times this, in destroying a car completely. Okay, so this means that we, it's going to be loud. It's right? going to be loud. It's going to be very loud. All yeah. right. Then let's, uh, let me load this into the weapon. Right, I'll put the uh, thing over here. All right, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Bang, that was well, loud. That went. <laughs> <laughs> but did it go through? <laughs> Did you hit it above? I'm, I'm not it. sure. I think we need to look at the IP footage. <laughs> There is the arrow, and boom, I hit it way to, to, to the left. And see, arrow shatters and flies off. And then the cabbage rolls down. A pretty cool explosion, very bright. 
So it seems like I've been hitting it a little bit way to the left, close to the carriage, but not hitting it. So I will try again, but now with the delayed fuse, right? So yes. Let's see what comes out of that one. And a little bit more to the right. And this time I hit it. Yes. That was a really good <laughs> shot. A really good shot. Brilliant. <laughs> I think this is a David Copperfield shot because where is the rest of that arrow? <laughs> it didn't come out of the end, but it is still in here. But of course, it's horribly splintered. Okay. Yeah, it's not much left. But it didn't blow up the cabbage. <laughs> so we got to look at the look high speed. <laughs> Here comes the arrow. I'm not hitting it again. But what happened during the bang? Where, where did it go? I mean, the end sticks into the cabbage, but it's actually a miracle how it ended up in there. Funny. So let's look at frame by frame. Here comes the arrow. It ignites. And if there is a delay, then it's probably one frame in the whole thing. But it's so bright that you cannot see what happens to the arrow. Now that the, the flash reduces, we can see elements of the arrow coming into the picture. There is the end of the arrow, but as you see, it already sticks in the cache. So I think it will remain forever a miracle how that end of the arrow ended up in the cabbage. So hopefully these won't be my last words because now we got the black powder arrow in filled with 20 grams. Going to be interesting to see. Wish me luck. <laughs> and... Whoa! Whoa! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was also a good idea. Definitely a good idea. That was the best idea of the day, I think. <laughs> Who knew a bit of black powder, hey? <laughs> So here comes the arrow, hitting right on the explosion, wow! The cabbage is flying off in all directions and we have the typical cloud created by the black powder. But I think we need to look at this again in super high speed, means even slower, to see where actually the, igni the, the thing ignites, by touching the cabbage or by touching the backstop. Because if it would touch the cabbage, then the explosion would be superficial. Here comes the arrow, nice and slow. And you can see that there's no tip because that's a 22 blank. Now it will very soon touch the surface of the cabbage and not explode. It goes in, explodes against the backstop. So that definitely leads to a huge explosion. And you can see that the arrow is flying backwards at us. That is dangerous, even slower. Again, here you can see the green veins of the arrow hurled back towards us, and you can see the rocket effect created by the black bar. That is very dangerous, guys, very dangerous. So, friends, <laughs> this is what's left yeah. from the arrow, <laughs> and it actually did rocket back to us. It rockets straight yeah. back. You can see it in the slow-mo where it does. It burns all the way, but you've got that little bit of propulsion that goes straight past us. Mm. But I don't think it was very harmful because it's so no. light. Yeah. I don't yeah, think yeah, it would yeah. really have touched us. So. So did you have expect? Did you expect this? No, I, I expected it to explode on impact with the cabbage. Uh -huh. So we needed to put that metal plate behind to actually get it to go off. It shows how 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 insensitive those percussion caps are. Yeah. So I think if if you would shoot this into like a body of an attacker, you think it would have exploded against the bone? I think if it hits the bone, definitely. And yeah. 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 Soft yeah. stuff, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, that, that was fantastic. I've been wanting to do that. I've <laughs> been wanting to do that since I was a kid. Um, so, I mean, it's a fantastic thing to see. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that was, that was, that was brilliant. But it, it's also interesting, the noise difference, because actually there's a complete noise difference between the flash powder and the gunpowder. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, maybe it's the old traditionalist in me, but the gunpowder sounds good. The gunpowder was, like, more low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah much yeah. more bass. You get, you you get know, a bigger so. crack with the, with the flash powder. Yeah. And then even more so when you go into high explosives. Mm. But yeah. I have to say that I, I agree with you, the black powder is, like, most satisfying. That yeah, sound. and it smells great. Too. It <laughs> smells great. <laughs> yes, it does. I think that last shot was really 
beautiful and mm. i think you should get a price for that slow motion well that, that, that slow mo is great but your <laughs> shot was fantastic i mean you got your eye in after after two didn't you so <laughs> uh, at the beginning i wasn't sure if this was a good idea i mean it's a good idea because i i wanted to know but i wasn't sure it was a good idea to actually be here <laughs> to actually know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but after the after the, you know we saw it there definitely a good idea but i have to say that the whole trip to the uk and the entire nine weeks and I'm separated from my family, I think this one shot was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and now if yeah. the TV show will be good, then that will be an extra benefit. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got more fun tab with explosives in the, in the rest of the week, haven't we? So uh, yeah, what's next? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we have some ideas actually, some great ideas because Mike also has uh, toys that um, I always wanted to have, like your plasma cutter, right? Oh yeah, yeah, right. So right. next weekend we're going to show you something that we are making on his plasma cutter that will also definitely keep you enthralled. Yeah, so, another lethal weapon. <laughs> uh huh. We're not saying what it no, is. No, no. It will be very cool. Stay tuned. <laughs>